Hey friends, here with two downloaded messages to share with you, hopefully to give you some clarity and some answers on some things you were hoping to get answers on. Also, happy Lionsgate 8-8. It's like an astrological holiday. Um, I received some messages about that. Also, I put it as a post with a little carousel um, in my Instagram. So go ahead and check that out. But for now, let's get into our questions. Let's see if Molly will give me a little space. Like, really hogging the couch here. Okay. So go ahead and take a minute to ask yourself a question and decide if you're going to be answered by message one or message two. Okay. So I received these messages earlier today, wrote them down, have them here. I'm going to pray for myself. May I be a clear vessel and be supported in this process, uh, a good steward of these messages. Okay. Message one. Right away when I was closing my eyes and trying to get the um, message, I got this like, very clear like phrase um, that said, it's anxiety. So what I got from that, what I was understanding was you are like feeling this energy of being excited, um, maybe a little nervous and like kind of looking towards the future, uh, looking towards like a new path, which is really exciting, but the energy or the natural rhythm of this thing that you're trying to come in is a little bit slower and it's actually a little bit more like grounded and mature, but there's like an anxious energy that's floating through you that is trying to make you uh, push it along or get the answers uh, quicker or have clarity on it faster than it need, that it's like supposed to. It's like this um, kind of almost makes me feel like you're baking this like intricate souffle. I don't even know how to make a souffle, but I have an idea that it takes, I feel like every time I go to a restaurant, they're like, yes, I'll give you the souffle, but it'll take 45 minutes. So <laughs> there's something about this that like has to be well baked, um, will take its own time, like whatever time it needs. And that you wanting to like get clarity on it or get messages on it, it's not gonna mess it up because it feels like this path that you're on is very destined um, there's a lot of divine support. There's actually like excitement about you following this path, but it's going to happen on its own terms and its own time. And like, you're almost like working for, you're almost like working for like your future self is what it feels like. So like your future self is like almost dictating you to do the things that need to get done for it to enjoy that future. So in a way, like this isn't, really dictated by you presently, it's dictated by your future self. I have goosebumps, if that makes any sense. So what that means is that your energy might be excited and even a little nervous, but that's not the natural, that's not the true energy of this path. This path is a little bit, it's wiser and, and grounded. So it actually requires you to find a grounding energy and to have enough focus to getting the details done and focusing on small things and details and um, just like that very like artistic work where you work on it every day, just a little bit, very detailed oriented in order to bring in this future time. So what you wanna do is if you see yourself like trying to brainstorm or come up with ideas or you know, blah, 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 or like move this along, really see if you can like bring in some dancing or some exercise and let that energy move through you so that you can get to that like wiser, deeper, more grounded energy that's that's just below it. And that's the energy you really wanna work with. So your work right now is to really find that grounded energy and to realize like anything that's like a faster pace is not the true nature of this manifestation. Um, let me see if I got anything else. And then, yeah, let me see if I got anything else. And um, no, it's about details. And just remember that there was gonna be a little bit of hard work and it almost feels like a meditation. Like you go into the hard work and it's just like, okay, I'm here. I'm like breathing through it. I'm going through it. I'm like working on it. Um, but overall, this path is a really beautiful path and there's a lot of uh, celebration and applaud for you being on this path. I can't figure out my hair today. Sorry, it's a little humid and yuck. <laughs> okay. Message number two, I like to give you guys like the little fingers in case you just want to get to your message instead of watching both of them. So what I was getting for number two was that your expectations for yourself 
or for like somebody else involved here are too high. So there's like these, um, and this is similar to the first one where like there's kind of a misunderstanding about like what's actually happening here. So this thing that's like coming forward or these, this, whatever you have a question about may look a little hard or may look like it needs like your willpower and your strength um, or your confidence. But it actually, the reason it's happening is because it is expanding your heart and it's like breaking open your heart. And what happens when the heart starts to expand is that parts of the ego are gets, get to die and leave but that ego is not going to go out going is not going to go out without a fight so it's going to be a confusing time because you're going to feel like almost like logically knowing that like you need to bring more love into this and more heart into this but your body and your ego are really going to trick you into thinking like you need to be tough and action oriented and um you need to be like um like accomplishing more and really it's not about accomplishing more it's about opening my heart more expanding more it's actually like some of the words i was getting is it's actually really about opening your heart more surrendering more and trusting more so this is actually a window a window of opportunity to expand and it looks like you're trying to get somewhere ultimately but without this like humbling and this uh expansion of the heart it's like that thing you're trying to get to is too hard so this is going to be really an experience of seeing the world it's like it's actually a perspective shift it's like you're you're seeing the world one way right now and by going through this hard thing or this complicated thing um you're really gonna just surrender into something softer that allows you so much more opportunity and possibility for you so you gotta surrender into like the cracking open of the heart so don't try to like fight it don't try to fight like being soft don't try to fight um being sad um don't try to fight any of those things and really watch out for your ego here like your ego is going to tell you it's really it's like it's really it's like really trying to fight its way through stay to stay so it's going to be very tricky and also what i was getting in general about this thing is do nothing like it felt like surrender is about like letting something happen in front of me seeing where that um that river is trying to take me and really recognizing that like this isn't the time to get my hands into this thing so this is really about observing what's happening rather than like trying to manipulate it or control it or tell it what to do so do nothing was really the message here so yeah that's what i got I hope those were helpful, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week. I'm excited to be back here delivering messages. And we'll talk to you soon. Love you much.